Hi guys, my name is Glenn and welcome to G-Strong Videos. Okay guys, so welcome back. So for today, I'm going to make a chain of uh, videos about my guitars um, being restored by a good friend of mine. Okay, and um, they are from Music Caloacan City and ang isa sa mga um, services that they offer is yung cleaning and restoration ng mga guitar. So that's why um, a few months back, I, uh, I asked for their help to restore some, some of my um, git, uh, electric guitar collections and mostly they are mentioned uh, uh, and posted in my Facebook page at G-Strong Videos. You can check them out. It's also in my IG. The other thing is uh, it has a chambered mahogany body. Um, well, based on experience, you know, it's like uh, whenever you discuss uh, this with other guitar players and other guitar luthier that yung mahogany is um, is one of the wood na very common na ginagamit ng mga guitar luthiers ng no? mga guitar manufacturers and this is because of the sound na napuputos niya now um, when you say it's uh, it's chambered kasi parang um, um, yung sound kasi na nararasunit and then it's mas uh, mas loud and clear okay and then this is the same uh, according to uh, to uh, Elo, my friend, that uh, the, the Gretsch uh, body is almost is the same as a Godan uh, in chamber. You know? So I think that's why Nahaka produce an awesome tone. I'm not really a connoisseur when it comes to you know um, picking up the guitar, but number one that I usually you know um, take consideration is yung sa, of course yung looks. Kasi siyempre, pag may idol ka, gusto mo rin gayahin. And then, you want to experience the same, you know, with uh, with that moment na na nakita mo yung idol mo na gumagamit ng ganong gitara. So, and then, you also, second step, you want to copy the sound and the tone that, uh, you know, that they're producing. You know, it's just like, um, you know, um, copying is one form of flattery. So, I think... I got driven to it, you know, and then napakaganda nung ano nung, nung guitar plus the big speed tremolo. It's a classic, you know, hindi siya katulad ng mga mga bago yung sa, uh, sa Japan ng mga Floyd Rose. So it's really classic. So mas sophisticated siya tignan. And um, well, since it's COVID, it would be difficult for us to um, to do a video on their shop. Basically, because um, I think um, uh, musical organ is uh, is also limiting its people to visit their shop because uh, of uh, the COVID lockdown. And there are some uh, MECQs and ECQs that has been impo imposed by the government. So, so for now, what uh, what Elo, the owner of uh, and a friend of mine, um, has uh, taken some pictures and given some instructions on. Uh, on how he can help us with this video okay so we're going to start with my Gretsch electromatic electric guitar all right stick around okay, so how did I ended up buying a Gretsch electromatic electric guitar well I saw the uh, the design is very vintage and uh, once you read through their web uh, website you will see na napaka uh, the handcrafting is very um, unique, and apart from that, they also have the Bixby um, tremolo, and which one of the uh, the classic uh, tremolos that uh, that has come out. Um, well, it's a classic, it's vintage, and then napaka daming players na rin, iconic players. Um, abroad uh, foreign artists who have played this guitar and then if you are going to um, watch YouTube and you will notice that most of them have played the Gretsch guitar have taken the option to play it because it has a unique and quality sound okay, how did I end up buying the Gretsch uh, electric guitar well um, it's a long time ago that whenever I watch gigs and um, nakakita ko ng guitar player who owns it, who owns one. Um, I always notice the uh, the classic uh, tone, 
and sustain of the Gretsch uh, guitar, no? Although, hindi naman siya, hindi naman ako ganun talaga kagaling when it comes to hearing on, you know, sa mga guitar tones. But, you know, um, may kasabihan tayo, if you love what you're hearing, then perhaps it's on its effects or baka naman sa electric guitar, right? So, ako naman, I figured na, okay, so, dumating yung time na, you know, na I figured na, why, why, why won't I just go to the shop and try one? And then I went to this shop in Cubao and then tried to play one. And sabi ko nga, oh, it's really good. But then again, you know, uh, meron palang Gretsch USA and then Gretsch na gawa lang ng, ano, no? ng Asia. Okay, well, there's a fine line there because, you know, when you're in a tight budget, you can only afford to buy the uh, Gretsch that was manufactured on Asia. But if it's for the US, it's more than 100K. So you have to think about it. So what I got is the Asian um, manufactured Gretsch guitar. Okay, well, why am I disclosing it? Because it's the truth and then it's the only thing that I can afford as of this moment. <laughs> I'm not really uh, a collector um, ng Gretsch, no? But I... But what I do collect is yung mga Yamaha um, vintage guitars and mas nakakapag-invest ako ng mas malaki doon kasi I love the Yamaha guitar. I grew up, you know, playing Yamaha uh, guitar. So that's why when I um, when I was able to, you know, to uh, to save up money and I want to continue my passion and I wanted to continue my passion for collecting. So that's why I leaned in collecting the Yamaha vintage guitars. Okay, so for today, we're going to show you uh, kung paano ni-restore ng Musical Aoken yung Gretsch Electromatic Pro. Okay, and then this will come in clips and only in um, pictures and with uh, you know with a couple of subtitles for you to enjoy. Because as of this moment, it's still locked down and it's very difficult to visit the shop and it would be dangerous. So tune in and then watch the video. Okay, so that's about it so I hope you enjoyed the video for today so for those who haven't subscribed to my channel please do click on the subscribe button and for those who want to get updates click click on the bell for notifications so stay safe 
get vaccinated and let's be all positive bye